Hey guys, my name is Haley, and today I am here to film a book haul because I got a ton of books and I already have more coming to my house. So we're gonna film this now before it gets a little more out of hand. These are a combination of like February and however far it's been into March and from whenever I filmed my last book haul, so there's a decent amount. First up, I got three Christian nonfiction books from the thrift store, Revolution in World Missions, Flight to Heaven, A Pilot's True Story, and The Theological Turn in Youth Ministry, which has a really weird cover, but it sounded super interesting, so they're all exactly what they sound like, so I'm always excited to get really cheap books from the thrift store. Next up, I went to Target and they had a couple of things on sale that I've had my eye on. So I got Welcome to Night Vale by Joseph Hink and Jeffrey Craner. I used to be obsessed with this podcast. It's the only podcast I've ever been able to actually get into, but I fell super behind on it. So I haven't been listening to it for probably the last year or two, but I remember when it first came out and I listened to probably the first 40 or so episodes and I just love the world and the characters and the way this podcast is set up. So I'm really excited to read this and I hope that it's good because I'm gonna be really sad if it's not. Also, this cover is beautiful. And then they had a book on super sale that I did not expect to see so cheap at Target as well. And that was Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. <laughs> I know there's a ton of controversy surrounding this book and I even have a friend that's reading it right now and she doesn't understand why people are freaking out so much about it and honestly I just need to read it. One because I actually really 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 like the Divergent trilogy and the reasons that a lot of people hate it didn't bother me because I thought it was really different and interesting so I'm excited to read something else from Veronica Ross. And then next, my friends and I were in the city a couple hours from us for a day and we went to a Half Price Books. So I got three things there. I got the second book in the School for Good and Evil series for less than four dollars, which was just fantastic. The Demon King by Cindy Williams Chimo was in the clearance section for a dollar, so I picked that up because I've always been mildly interested in this series. And then I got The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson because I never find this in hardcover anywhere for cheap. And I've been really wanting to read this trilogy, but I didn't want to get them in paperback because the third book is enormous and that paperback is this big and that just sounds awful. So I wanted to get them in hardcover, so I was finally super excited to find this in hardcover for cheap-ish. After all of that, I thought that was going to be it for my book haul, and I was wrong. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I can wait to film another book haul until like after March. And then I just ordered a ton of books in the last week of loans. So, so for this, Amazon and thrift books got me as per usual. <laughs> and the first being More Happy Than Not by Adam Salvera. I've been really enjoying seeing him in a lot of people's videos lately. Talking about History is All You've Left Me, which I did almost order as well, but I was like, I'm going to start with his first book because I'm really interested in the one that he has coming out later this year called They Both Die at the End because it sounds like such an interesting premise. I told myself I would start with his first book, so I got this for a penny off Amazon and paid $4 for shipping, so... And then I had a thrift books coupon that I haven't used for the last couple of months, so I got two things from there. I got Binge by Tyler Oakley and Buffering by Hannah Hart. And the reason I got both of these is not because I'm a huge fan of Tyler Oakley or Hannah Hart. I actually don't really watch either of them, even though I have seen a decent amount of their videos. I'm not subscribed to them or anything. But I've had, like, really good luck with reading YouTuber books of people I don't watch and still really enjoying them. Like, I don't watch Connor Franta and I really loved his book. I don't watch Josh Sunquist, but I really loved his book too, so I figured I would give these two a try because I have heard they're really good, so... Also, these covers are beautiful, and these are both, like, super heavy books for some reason. I'm not sure why. So, these are most of the books that I've bought in the last couple of weeks. There are more coming. I'm so sorry that there might be a couple of book hauls, but thank you all for watching, and I will see all of you guys next time.